Hey guys, Will from EDM Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to produce house music in the style of a craze. I'm going to do this as quickly as possible. As usual, you can download the project file. All the samples completely free below this video. And if you like, please share it with your friends, hit like and subscribe to the channel. Quick shout out to my masterclass student, Arucha, who hit almost 700,000 streams last year. You can check out his music below. And if you do want coaching to get your music to a professional level, you can click my coaching link below, see what we got on offer. Anyway, without further ado, let's hop into the door and get it done. Awesome, so I'm gonna work as quickly as possible. So the first thing we need to touch upon is the vibe that a craze writes his music in. Obviously he had that huge hit, Do It To It last year. And that's the style we'll be producing in. So it's kind of like, grungy, warehousey house music in the style of James Hype, but a little bit different. And it's using a vocal from an old 2000s R&B track, I think. I don't know which track it is, but that's what we're going to do today. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in a tempo. We're going to choose 125 BPM. Let's name this bad boy. If it is a craze, let's call this crazy. No, let's call it a crazy a paving. I'm sorry, the names just don't get better even in 2022, but that's what we're going with. Next thing we're going to do is bring in the vocal. I'm going to use Jumpin' Jumpin' by Destiny's Child. It's worth spending some time to find a vocal that you want to work with because really it is the vocal that makes the track. Next thing we need to do is get this synced up to our project. I'd look it up on Google, find out what tempo the track is. Uh, this is how I work it out if I don't have the tempo to hand. So I go to the first transient. Ladies Turn on the metronome Ladies, leave your man at home. and then just work it out from there. I think it's probably about Ladies, leave your man at home. 90. Don't know. Ladies, leave your man at home. The club is full of ballers and their pockets full of grown. Nice. And now you fellas. That's it. Okay, so now we've got the right tempo. We warp it. Make sure the warp is set to 89, not the tempo of your project or the final tempo of your project. Change its complex pro. Put our tempo back, boom. Now it's really fast. So what we're going to do is actually make that half speed like this. That's going to sound pretty cool when we've got a beat on it. So next thing, let's get that kick in there. Boom, boom, boom. I want the kick in my room. This is going to be a 909 kick from the TR909. And that is because we want that kind of raw, classic house sound. So I'm just going to go to my favorites, 909 kick, boom. I'll set that to minus 12 so we don't have any clipping on the master channel. I'll just tighten it up a bit. Ladies. Ladies. Cool. Now we just copy that, paste it. There we go. And now the next thing we need to do is get that beat in. And then we are going to go onto the bass line after that. We're going to use like a grungy 808 bass sound. So I'm going to use the create EDM Tips Creative Toolkit for these drum sounds, which you can, again, check out below this video as well, if you want some dope-ass samples. And uh, let's just get things cooking. So I'm going to go to EDM Tips Creative Toolkit, which would be here. We want really short, sharp clap for this kind of music. Let's use clap nine, that sounds pretty good. Just program it in, every other kick. Ladies, ladies, leave your... There we go. I'm gonna turn off the vocal for the time being. Bit too crisp. I like this one. It's a bit, a bit more subdued. And I might actually layer it as well, just to get a bit more stereo width in there. So just duplicate that, double it up. Work as fast as I can, guys. Let me know if you're enjoying this so far. Give me a hell yeah, or an amen, brother. Cool, let's just turn that down a bit against the kick. And now let's get some hats in there. Happy hats, that's what we like, the happiest of all the hats. Let's go into high hats. Uh, 
That's quite cool. I'm just looking, I'm listening out for interesting textures. Again, really short and sharp because it's that kind of tech house jacking vibe. Okay, a bit vanilla at the moment. So what we're going to do is add a little open hat really quietly on every other closed hat. Like so. I'm just going to pan this right. And this is to add interest in to the drums because when you've got something that's seemingly simple, you need to make sure there's enough ear candy in there to keep, keep the interest. Just a very simple, small thing, but it's going to add more interest and groove to this. Now let's get the 16th hats in. Just going to program this on every 16th, apart from where the kick hits, I think, because I don't want the kick being interfered with, as it were, with the, um, with the hat. So I'm just going to miss that first one out there. And now let's turn this down. And you'll notice that I actually changed the velocity of these two here. So this one here is slightly louder. And that's just again to add movement and interest into these drums. But I'm going to add a little bit more, a little bit more movement and interest. I hear you ask. Yes, it is possible. Uh, so let's get a side chain compressor on there. If I get a compressor, just put that just after the hat, the 16th hat in that chain, open it up, take my side chain input from my side chain channel, which is here. And I've just got a very short, sharp tick there rather than taking it from the kick because the kick's quite a long sample. Now, if I wasn't using just Ableton Live here, I'd probably be using the shaper box. That's what I tend to use when I'm doing my productions, but I wanted to make it so that you could download this and use it without any third party plugins. So let's just get a bit of a bounce on that. So let's listen to the closed hats, the 16th. And we're just ducking it slightly from that side chain trigger. And again, it's just to add a little bit more movement and dynamics to the tune. Now let's add even more interest with a couple of kind of scare snare skips. Scare skips? What are you talking about, boy? Scare snare skips. Let's go percussion. So I just want kind of slightly interesting sounds here. Let's pan it slightly left as well. Just using the 16th. And then. Let's get another one. I think another clap would be good actually. I like 10, let's use that. And I'm just again gonna pan this slightly off and add another snare skip in there. I'll use nine. And again, I'm just gonna have this every two beats. Cool, okay, now let's add some groove to this because it's all a bit robotic at the moment. Um, let's listen to it with the beat, uh, with the vocal. Okay, so it's, it's sounding good, but we want a little bit more groove to that. So what I'm gonna do is open up the groove pool, which is the groove library. Where are you, grooves? 
and I'm going to just chuck on Swing 1664. It's the one I use most, it's easiest, just chuck it on there. Then you can dial the timing up to, to what you want and let's listen to the difference it makes. So this is with none on it. Let's beef it up. That's with the full groove, which is too much. So I think about 50% is good. That's sounding pretty cool. So now we need a killer bass line. Now, as we're doing this in the style of a craze, I'm gonna use an 808 bass. Uh, and I'm just gonna to go to the stock plugins from Ableton. We've got the sub 808 bass, so let's use that. Now I know this track is in the key of C sharp minor. So I can, ooh, spacey. So I can start by hitting that note. Obviously it needs to be lower down though. Cool, that's, that's, that'll do. That's all I'm doing, just jamming. Let's put it up there as well. And then I'm gonna consolidate that. Just grab everything, making sure that it's, it's quantized to the grid. So it's supposed to be quite raw sounding. Um, so I'm just going to make sure they're all the same volume by bumping up the velocity to be the same. But now we want this to be a bit more grungy. So I'm going to add a saturator to it. Just bring out some of those harmonics, fatten it up, and it's going to allow it to pop through on speakers that perhaps don't have as much low end as your headphones or your studio monitors. So a bit warmer. Let's have a listen. Let's have a butcher's. off. So it just fattens this up a bit. Let's uh, duplicate it. Nice, we're almost there already. What I'm going to do with the Destiny's Child vocals is I'm going to EQ them a little bit. Just take out the low end rumble. There's a bit of like distorting sibilance on there as well. Just because it's ripped, it's bad quality. There's not that much I can do with it. I mean, for a bootleg, it doesn't matter that much. But what you might do is put a DSer on there. Um, so I use the Pro Q, no, the Pro DS from FabFilter. But again, I'm not going to use that today because I want you to be able to download this with the plugins that you already have. Um, but what I want to do with this is just listen to the vocal and see if there's anything else I can extract, extract to make this a bit more interesting. Let's add some effects to this. Let's compress it. Okay, I can do a bit of an accraise thing with this as well. So if I just create a new audio track, I'm just gonna st steal this little snippet. And let's go in and change the pitch of one of them. I think this is what the track does. Let's see, let's listen. So I'm just using the vocal itself to create a little bit of a, a background atmosphere, but we need to take out some of those high frequencies. So I'm going to throw an auto filter on 
and put the resonance up. And because I've just made things go up and down one semitone, it gives it a kind of slightly dark feel. So if you've got the root of the track, which is the C sharp, if you go up to just the D, you know, it's a bit darker. It's got a bit of a twisted feel to it. So that's what we want for this. I'm going to throw a reverb on there as well. No, an echo. So this is just like a background, um, yeah, vocal to add more depth to this track. So we need to tweak these vocals slightly because getting the vocals like bang on in terms of timing for me is is really important. You know, actually, what I might put on here is a, a waves something or other. I won't keep it on here, but I just want to show you I really like this Wave CLA plugin. I'll link this below as well, but it just makes vocals pop. Ladies, leave your man at home. The club is full of ballers and their pockets full. So this is off. Ladies, leave your man at and on. home. The club is full of ballers and their pockets full grown. It just makes it a little bit wider, compresses it a bit. It's a really nice plugin. And we want a sidechain compressor on there as well to make the vocals pump. So I'm going to just going to grab the one that we put on the hi-hats earlier. Ladies, leave your man at home. So now we can have that kind of jamming with the kick. We'll also do it to the bass. But less for the bass. So let's tweak these vocals a bit. Let's go in there. I don't want a club that isn't full of ballers. When I go to a club, if there are, if it's not full, absolutely brim full of ballers, I'm out of there, mate. Kelly as well. We're off. Michelle stays. She loves. No, she she hates ballers actually. Does Kelly? Beyonce. She's like, she can take them or leave them. To be honest. And their, their pockets best be full grown. Right. So what I'm doing is holding command and just holding it over these transient markers. And that allows me to drag. And it creates a marker either side as well. So I'm not dragging the whole thing in some horrible mess like that. It just allows me to lock that down. Don't know why I said that like Alan Partridge, but I did. It's happened. So I'm just going to, yeah, again, tweak it into time. And it is painstaking, but it's just worth spending the time doing it. Every syllable. Like jumping, probably going to be... I mean, the jumping is pretty much the hook of the track. So, but sometimes having it slightly off the transient is important or off the beat. Otherwise, you can kill the whole kind of vibe of the vocal. So you have to use your ears. You have to make those decisions. Okay, that's cool. And I really like that jumping, jumping. So I'm going to make that a bit of a hook. A bit like that. Down, 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 down. Track, whatever that was called. Pull someone, I think. Right, so here we go. Yeah, like that's, that's cool. Even if you don't know that that's cool, it, it is cool. Probably. It could be cool. <laughs> right, so I'm going to take out some of those hi-hats. Oh, 
I'll keep the bass in, but what I'm going to do is have the bass follow that. Like I've gone a bit off the off the reservation now, so I'm just kind of going off on one. So I'm going to do this. I don't know why, but that's what's what I'm doing. I might start it low. What's going on with these crazy emails? Leave me in peace. I'm going to take the volume down for this bit though, because I want when it comes back around, I want that drop to hit. So I want that to be grooving. Um, so I'm going to turn the bass volume down in this little section, like so. And I've actually got my live group call for my masterclass students very soon. So if you want to check that out, if you want to check out coaching with me, then hit that link below, baby. OK, here we go. So that's going to be like, that's going to be the drop, but let's get a little drum intro there. And then we're pretty much done. I think, uh, let's get those cool. I might make these shorter as well, like this, just to make it a bit more. Yeah. Just keeping things in control. We don't want too much going on. Yeah, that sounds better. I'll just do these two. Just fade off those clips a little bit. Boom, boom. Get rid of those. Get out. Go on, get out. Take your ballers with their full pockets elsewhere. Now let's duplicate that. Talking absolute nonsense today. Let's get that drum intro in there. I'm just going to select another clap, another clap, another clap. Come on. No, let's go to the creative toolkit. Six, I think. Just want it simple, nothing too complex. Nice housey intro. That's that's all we're doing. Nice. So there you pretty much have it there, guys. You've got that. You've got that warehousey feel. So what I'm going to do is just warehouse this up a bit more. I'm going to like this is not a bona fide mastering technique, so don't do this, but I'm going to do it. Drum bus just to grunge this thing up a bit on the master channel. Like that's that's a bit harsh now, um, but what I might do is just show you that if you were to create a synth, and I'm just going to use the wavetable for this, and just use those two chords. So that's the C sharp minor, and then we're going to do the one semitone up for the root, so that would be a D.
no, sorry, that's a C, C, C sharp major. And then we're going to go to a D minor after that. And let's just add some reverb to that. I don't know what this is going to sound like, but I'm just showing that you can add some more atmosphere as well. And then it starts sounds a bit darker. Cool. So there you have it, guys. That's that. There you have it. What? There you have it, guys. That is house music in the style of a craze. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did in the comments below. And don't forget, you can download this project file, all the samples. Although I can't share with you the Destiny's Child sample, obviously, because it's not mine, but it's easy enough to find. And if you want to check out the EDM Tips Creative Toolkit, you can do so below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, cheers and happy producing. Bye.